Okay, we are back. We now have our sky in place. Now, the next thing I want to do is put in a light that will represent the sun in our level, which is actually why I put the sky box in first. A lot of sky boxes will have some part of the texture which looks like a sun or looks like a brighter area where a sun should be, and it's nice to already have that in place because it can help you with proper positioning and angling of your sunlight. Now, we already have a work light in place, so just a basic directional light. Instead of getting rid of that and replacing it with a sunlight, we're just going to promote that light to our sun. We're going to give it a promotion. I'm going to do that uh, in a couple of ways. First, we're going to change its name. So I'm going to come over here and select directional light. And if I click on it again, we can change the name to sunlight. Mm -hmm. That'll work. And there's another way that you could rename it. Lee? F2. Okay. <laughs> yes, we yeah. could. We can hit F2 with anything we select over here. Just tap the F2 button, and then we can rename it. Sunlight will work, though. Now, uh, if we take a look at our skybox, as I pointed out earlier, there is a brightened section that kind of looks like a sun. And what I want to do is move the light. I'm going to get it up off the ground, but I do want to mention, because this is a directional light, and because a directional light simulates a light source that is infinitely far away, the position of this light is completely irrelevant. You won't be able to tell where you move it to, uh, but I just find generally that, you know, if I'm working on a level, I usually expect to find the sun up above the level somewhere. Mm -hmm. At the same time, we are going to be putting a lens flare onto this sun. Now, I'm not opening the floor for arguments as to whether or not you should have a lens flare on a cloudy level. We're not discussing that. But it's your first game, so all first games have to have a lens flare. Yeah, really, and as many as you can get, really. So, yeah. I mean, if you can think of other places to cram as many lens flares as you can. Of course, I'm kidding. One is more than enough. I just wanted to show how to add them in. So, anyways, since we're going to be putting on a lens flare, we want to make sure that the sun is really high up in the sky. Even though the position doesn't matter in terms of lighting, if the sun is too close, we'll actually see ourselves moving relative to the sun's position. I mean, you'll start get the parallax error. Exactly, exactly. It's, it looked like the sun was maybe only 100 feet in the air, and that's no good. So to solve that problem, what we're going to do is get kind of an idea of where that bright spot in the sky is. I'll rotate so it's kind of up and to the left of me, and I'm just going to drag the light way up here in the air. Now, we're zoomed so far away right now, that's, that's actually a considerable distance. I'm going to rotate underneath our world. I'm going to put the map, I'm going to position the map so that it's right in the center of the bright spot in the sky, and then I will move the light right into the center of that bright spot. Then I'll tap the E key, and that's going to get my rotation gizmo out, and I'll just rotate the light so it's pointing straight back at us. And that should give us a really close approximation of where the sun would be relative to this particular skybox. And that's all there is to that. Now, even though it is an overcast day, I feel like our lighting might be just a little bit on the dim side. So let's take our intensity, and we're going to boost it just a little bit. So we've gone from 0.25 to about 0.35, and we'll go with that. We can always make further adjustments to it later if we see fit. But let's take a look at our level now. So I'm just going to tap the play button. And here we are, we have light. Now we can't really see the results of the lighting right now. I mean, the, the trees aren't casting any light, but we can see it on the terrain. Uh, as for which sides of the terrain are in shadow and which sides are illuminated, as you can already see. And that's pretty cool. And I'm just going to gripe about those rocks again for a minute. <laughs> we really got to clean that up, but that's okay. We'll come back to that later. So we've got our light in place, and now we need to add a lens flare. However... When we started up our level, when we uh, created our, our uh, initial project, we did not load in the lens flares package. And because we didn't do that, we don't have any lens flares to play with. We need to add those in now. Now to do this, we've already done it a few times in the past. I'm going to go under Assets, Import Package. You want to show them the other way you can import package too? Sure, why not? Give them something a little, a little bit different way of doing it. Go, go ahead and close that. Mm -hmm. Right-click inside of your project. Mm -hmm. on an empty area and hit import package from there. There you go. All kinds of hidden stuff. Now, uh, the path to get you to your installation of Unity where this can already be found, because this came along with Unity. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and paste this in. In my case, it's C program files, Unity, 
editor standard packages. I and mean, if you're on a Mac, it's going to be a little bit different, but that's generally right. the idea. And this may vary a little bit if you decided to install your Unity in a different folder. Right. You could have installed yours anywhere, but you want to find your Unity installation, and underneath Editor, you'll find the Standard Packages folder. And this gives you access to all of the packages you had the opportunity to check. We just overlooked this one, although this really isn't that bad of a way to work. You start off by clicking the ones you absolutely know you're going to need, and perhaps when you start, you think, you yeah, know, maybe I don't need a lens flare. And if you think that, it's probably better not to load it right now. Save yourself some time and a little bit of space in your project. So what we're going to do is click on Light Flares, click Open, we'll give this a second to load, click Import, and the load is really, really fast and we now have light flares and there's 50 millimeter zoom small flare and naturally a sun flare now adding a flare to our sun is an extremely simple process if we grab our sunlight here inside the hierarchy view and take a look at its properties we see that there is a flare property and this is a texture reference now we've already been clicking on the little tiny circle area and this gives you access to any of the appropriate assets that could be associated with it. So we could just choose sun, and it, that's already made a, uh, a connection. You already see the sun over there. But I'm going to set it back to none and close. We can also, straight from the project folder, grab the sun flare and drag and drop it right on top of the flare reference. And that makes the association as well. So now, if we were to look back up into the sky... We're not going to see anything yet until we actually play the game, but look up, and there's a sun showing through, which in our case is actually giving the effect that the clouds are kind of thinning out right there in that one little area, and you can make out the sun kind of coming through the trees. It's sort of a nice effect. Yes, I realize it's probably not the most realistic effect in the world, but it gets a point across. So if you'd like to use a lens flare in your level, you now know how. Jeff, yeah, you, was, you like took saying, a deep breath. Yeah, I was and thinking then, about it and whether or not. Go ahead and uh, hit the draw halo uh, check right above the flare. And so. Oh, sure, yeah, yeah. But if we're going to go there, I mean. Well, I mean, you're not going to be able to see too much of because it. Because of the white. Because Yeah, because of the white. Let's see, can I, I can click out of here and I can turn that on and off, and you're not really going to see much of a result. Right. Um, and we'll talk about uh, the difference between flares and halos uh, later on in some videos specifically about lighting and show you exactly how they work and how to set them up. Now, that's everything I want to do here is just set up our sunlight, go ahead and get a lens flare in place, and that is going to wrap everything up for this video. Yeah. Thanks a lot.